Hello and welcome, Ascended Stars. I almost fell off the stool. <laughs> oh my goodness, Ascended Stars. Thank you for stopping by, um, checking me out, checking my little YouTube channel out. I appreciate you. So we're going to be doing uh, a intuitive read for my beautiful Cancers, you guys. What is going on, huh? Yeah, it's intense. It's intense, right? Well, I'm wishing you guys the best. We got these 70s cards that are uh, have not been used since the 70s. We have the Celtic Lenormand deck, which is amazing because it has those three owls. And God, we definitely need that wisdom coming in. And then we have the Crystal Oracle. So I'm going to go ahead and lay it out. And then I'm going to do an intuitive read. Now if you want, you can go ahead and skip along to where you see all the pictures. And um, go from there. Because I'm really not going to be saying much here. Just putting this stuff together. But uh, we do have that full moon. So this is coming right on the full moon on the on the precipice of the full moon basically and that's going to be tomorrow so this is a big 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 uh cycle that's happening and this is typically going to portray 30 days but i'm going to try to do midweek midweeks and romance reads okay some of these are coming out for romance some of these are coming out for midweeks i mean for um generals so let's see what we have for my beautiful cancer collective on ascended stars thank you all right let's check it out here we go excuse me i'm trying to do this as Mercury retrograde has got me pretty messed up with coordination. <laughs> so I have to be honest with you about that. All right, so let's see. Give me a, also a minute to just take in the energies for you. And then <laughs> I'm going to leave it because I cannot turn it around because it will cause a whole mess. So let's see. My beautiful Cancers. Oh, goodness. Wow. You're a bit conflicted, aren't you? <laughs> oh, all right. Okay. Ah. It's like one minute you're feeling this, the next minute you're feeling that. Okay. Gosh, yeah. You are like a spectrum of emotions. I think the past is real. Yeah, I think the past is really kind of um, make is it, okay. I think the past is motivating you to express yourself. But there's so much you want to say that it almost seems not. It it, it seems daunting. And. For some of you, you have someone who is um, older, wiser, a mature person who is, you know what, for some of my Cancerian females, or maybe my gay um, collective here, I, I see two suitors, you know, I see a young one and, um, and an older one, and this older one wants to offer you something, but he, you might know him you might know him okay there's another message coming through saying that you were kind of interacting with this okay so it could be older energy okay and this this older okay so it could be a person who it doesn't have to be older but it could be like from the past and they're coming back around and they have a lot of passion for you and they kind of want to block anybody who wants to come near you who wants to be you know 
who 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 they're 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 consuming your energy a lot it seems like yeah yeah so this is where it's making you really confused because you do have somebody else that wants to come in and looks at you i i pick up they're also maybe psychic or a water sign as well but it doesn't have to be that way and i feel that that person has taken a really long time to connect and what i gather from them is that they had to cut ties they 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 because you're very psychic and you're a very you know my cancerians are very feminine and there's this quality of like uh not wanting to hurt you you know because you yeah because just because of who you are they don't want to they, there's this quality of not wanting to hurt you that like they don't want to hurt cancer it's this energy of like i don't want to hurt them with with my own injuries or with my own past or with my own stuff i don't want to hurt cancer so this new energy is coming in like really uh like they I, and I also feel that they've tr they, 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 that you keep coming back into their mind that you ha they have tried to get a, like 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 the destiny has led them to you okay I feel like they feel like they're destined for you their footsteps their path is towards you okay and and, and, and every time they weaver away from that path they they find that the spirit keeps nudging them to come back to you cancer so I, I do pick that up quite interesting enough. And Cancer has their walls up. Cancer's like, no, 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 you're not getting through this. You're not coming here. And you have blocked, you're, you, you're, you're communicating with this other person from the past. Somebody's watching you, wants to come near you, but they might have hurt you okay I, i'll be honest they might have hurt you they might have hurt you they might have hurt you and um left you i i get a feeling they left you stranded in a way they left you um well i get a feeling that they left you in the middle of the night energy you know uh they left you to fend for yourself kind of deal yeah I get that feeling, all right? And so your your walls are up. And this person, I think, is young and, and they are not in control of their emotions, perhaps, or they're just not, they have, they had a lot of anger in them, maybe, perhaps. But I do feel that uh, they are, they're wanting to come and talk to you, but your walls are up, okay? And you're only connecting with this other person who is more, has more of a protector energy and um or so you think or so you feel okay and yeah i feel like you need to go with the one that has that protector energy for you because you still have some healing to do or the next message is that you know you really need to just shield yourself shield your energy protect yourself um, and just express, express in written form, perhaps, how you feel, how you need to uh, let this out, let the, the pain out, let, let express your emotions, um, you know, write it out, write it out and, and then, um, sh you know, put it away and, and continue to do the healing work. And you do have ancestral energy here. You have your ancestors guiding you, of course, your cancer. So the veil is thin in Scorpio with a... Um, you know Pluto here and, and family and Pisces retrograde and Neptune and yeah the, a lot of the water stuff is here you're content you're wrapping up things let's continue so you have tiger's eye courage I am courageous and this energy supports me throughout my life so you could be dealing also with with somebody who lacks being courageous lacks communicating their uh, love for you 
and they left you in the cold so they lack courage so you could be um maybe going through this to see what it is what what somebody looks like that lacks courage okay and you're gonna maybe amplify in the future exactly what was missing okay sometimes that's how it works out we have healing i am healing i am a healing machine manifesting miracles malachi this is a beautiful energy malachi is good for money as well and nurturing i open up and allow myself to be nurtured yeah this could be this older energy that does want to nurture you actually maybe they've come back to nurture you from this wounded part of you that um kind of was left abandoned or you could have been abandoned in your childhood okay maybe you feel like an orphan because you don't have a, a good mom situation like that that could be also the energy i feel like maybe this person could be very mothering in a way like they are very they're psychic they're passionate like i feel like they're into their own thing their own energy like they do their own thing like they're they seem very successful it feels like an emperor energy like they can protect you okay it feels like a very protective energy but yet they understand your need to be who you are you know they understand your pain they, they get it okay and they want and they they want to protect you so you can come to a place of balance it's such a beautiful energy like i want to cry how much how beautiful this is it's just gorgeous i i find it very intriguing that you would um, you, you you have stirred somebody in their deep soul to protect you, which is interesting. Okay, teacher, I have the divine wisdom of the universe within me and I openly share it with the world. So this also could be ancestral energy. Maybe you have a grandfather. Maybe you have a, a father from, from the other side who's protecting you too. Okay, Cancer. So... Um, They want you to feel their love. They want you to feel, maybe they want you to connect with them. Maybe they want you to light a candle and give a prayer to them. And you can, and, and watch the floodgates of communication start coming by the way that this person signals to you via their personality, okay? This is like a, somebody who's a big person. They like to be seen. They like to be known. Uh, they, they're proud of of who they are they don't really keep secrets they're kind of they, they're they're the big personality in the room they're big energy okay um ram a little they have a loud laugh too like i feel they have a loud laugh yeah it's interesting energy okay so let's continue confidence I'm confident in all that I do. Yes. So this is definitely having to do with your confidence. Your confidence is taking a beating here, Cancer. You are a cardinal sign. You're meant to be a leader, but yet you're not able to lead at this particular point in time, this month where we're, you're seeing this reading, but this is a timeless reading. If you happen to see it at whatever month it is, um, you're lacking in, in the confidence. It could be because somebody passed on, passed away, or you're just very reminiscent of, your, of the passings of ways of people who um have come and gone in your life and it just seems to be a very reminiscent time that you're going through that and we did look at teacher so let's look at these uh cards here first one up says your own little world is going to become enchanted with a new personality who will bring much needed gay activity and exciting possibilities into it that's funny that i had mentioned this for um even the same sex and it says that Okay, I'm a Bay Area girl. I'm cool with it. All right, so let's see. Here we go. Next message is the only difference between you and them is you have done so little to obtain similar to what they possess, yet you want similar to them. Is it not time you stopped wanting and started doing if you really want similar? Basically, they're saying get off your butt. <laughs> get off your butt and move it move it move it but you know i don't understand why cancer would be well yeah i guess it's just a time of being very emotional okay not only at night are you thinking about you might be getting like to flood load of messages especially with this prior full moon energy you might be getting a flood load of messages of how to empower yourself how to use the wisdom you already have uh how to express yourself okay how to connect who do who to connect with who's best going to be able to give you uh support in in expressing yourself okay 
aligning yourself to that and really picking who is going to be coming in cancer circle okay who's going to be coming who you're going to there is a lot here of information there's a lot of uh communicate there is a lot of messages about you communicating okay and you could be working from home which makes sense cancer working from home communicating with others being expressive okay taking following your intuition when it when it feels right it doesn't have it could be in the middle of the night it, it could be in the middle of the morning morning hours okay where you're going to get most of your downloads all right and you are maybe connecting you may be reaching out connecting with old past lovers friends associates all right i hope this has been helpful my beautiful cancers i love you take care all my stuff my info is on the show box more below and uh we will be connecting hopefully with some more messages down the road i wish you a good halloween if you're here in the u.s and um yes all the best because this is i feel very pertinent to your prior to halloween which is only a day away but um if you're watching it afterwards, I hope this has been helpful as well. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.